Turn up to this one, Valent Ecotech Pro, combi boiler, single channel program, a hardwired room stat, no heating was the fault. A little bit of backstory, they had an engineer service the boiler, they told him that the timer didn't work and he said, oh, I'll pop one on for you. And then when he left, it didn't work at all. Boiler's just idle, doesn't even know what's happening. So check out the room stat. We're getting nothing in the room stat, nothing out the room stat. So we're going to check the programmer, going to whip that off. As soon as that comes off, I can tell it's not wired right straight away. It needs to come back on four, not on three for a start. The wiring diagram's on the back of the Honeywell programmer in case you didn't know. So you need a permanent live, but then you also need another live that goes to one for it to return on four. So we're just gonna whip the front off all this trunking and just see what we gotta deal with. Have a look in the boiler. We've got the MIs. So the switch live back from the room stat is gonna come back on four and the live out would have been on three by anyone's standards this wiring is an absolute mess that black cable comes back off three from the room stat and then it goes to four on the boiler to fire it and they've just joined those two together in a little kind of connector block thing but that little nick in that live cable is dangerous straight away they've caught that when they've tried to put the programmer back on or ram it on or whatever they've done to it so i'm going to sort that out I have turned the power off, by the way. Otherwise, you'd have seen some flashing lights about now. So the best thing to do is just put it all out and start again. Just like that. So we've got the power coming from the switch fuse spur. So that's your power in. Oh, time for a quick coffee. I've crimped all my cables, and that looks a bit neater. There's a wiring diagram again. It's all a bit neater and safer now. So we're going to turn it on. We're cooling. Boiler now registers a demand and you can hear it start the ignition process. You can immediately feel that flow pipe to the radiator starting to get warm already. Heating's on. Yellow light means go. Happy days.